Uh, we're out here today because for the past three years I've appealed the Center for Bioethical Reform's Genocide Awareness Project, and for the last three years it's been denied by the leadership and student leadership on campus. So essentially we could say that Westmont has chosen to hide the truth of abortion from the students on campus. So we have resolved to pull the cover off of what they're trying to hide. What do you, what do you think about um, what we're doing out here today? Well, I think it's, it's very easy to just say in a conversation that I don't know or I'm undecided about the situation, but when you're faced with these images and the information behind it, it's really, it's really chilling and you can't, you can't ignore it, so. Did it make you think at all of what's uh, happening? It did. Um, usually you just aren't informed about what's really going on and it really made you think. Just seeing those images and what, what actually goes on. I think before I saw it, I didn't really know what to make of it and I didn't think it mattered what I thought so much. Um, but it was either the woman's choice in certain situations or it was uh, wrong if it wasn't a good enough situation. But um, this really made me think about how everyone deserves a chance to live but I really feel strongly now more about taking a stand and making other people aware because I was made more aware in just this passing moment. So when I appealed the Genocide Awareness Project and had it turned down my freshman year, my sophomore year, and then a week and a half ago, all for the reasons of, all the underlying reasons for those was that, was that the feelings of born people were more important than the lives of unborn people. Angela Damore said that this wasn't going to happen here, but if I wanted to, she could bring it to the executive team. She said, by the way, I did that for you last year, and they said no. So, and three years running, they said no. So I have no, no. Now, do I pray and hope that this Genocide Awareness Project is approved? Oh, yes, I don't want to do this. I'd rather have a pro-life organization who's been doing this since before I was conceived come and do this. But since it's been turned down three years in a row, what basis do I have to believe that's well, going to be approved I, this year? Not. But this topic would not have been addressed from the moment I stepped on this campus if I hadn't done anything. Uh, I, I just have to say that I feel like it's really disrespectful for you to uh, not respect our. We feel like it's disrespectful to hide the truth of abortion from students at West. You, you okay, I'm talking about as an institution. Well, so why is it that we have? Hold on, we have a Global Focus Week where we focus on sex trafficking, child slavery, all these other things, and then we get clubs on campus to do stuff against that. We get money raised. We do these 24-hour, seven-hour prayer weeks against it. We bring in speakers and chapel. Then they speak so later. So there's a lot of the same there's day. a lot. I'm saying as an institution, of, we address lot, all these other social injustices. There are a lot of issues that are not addressed. But, there are a lot but, of issues that are not addressed. So you can't say that because somehow that okay. Well, this I'm saying that we, we obviously have addressed. Child slavery here, sex trafficking, these sure, other things, and we sure. put it as super important, and it is. We should address it. And then we look at abortion. When 1.2 million abortions happen each year in the U.S., and Guttmacher Institute, a pro-abortion organization, says 18% of all abortions each year from women claiming to be born again evangelical Christians, and yet we're not addressing that issue, and that concerns me.